Welcome back to the CNET Live stage. I'm Jason Heiner and he's Bill Detweiler, who's about to crack open a smart suitcase. Now, Bill, we've cracked open a lot of things over the years on the CNET stage. We have indeed. Why are we doing a suitcase this year? Well, you know, suitcases are really interesting. You know, as we have smart technology, uh, it's being put into more and more gadgets. So you wouldn't necessarily think that they're going to be computer chips and batteries and everything like that put into a suitcase, but there are. So we've got a smart suitcase here. Uh, this is uh, Blue Smart, one of their brand new uh, Series 2 smart suitcases. Yeah. It does really cool things, right? So it'll tell you how much the suitcase weighs. It has a Bluetooth um, device, in, a Bluetooth chip in it that lets you unlock the suitcase remotely. Uh, it has uh, cellular connectivity through 3G. It'll actually tell you where the suitcase is, GPS connectivity, right? So if yep. you lose your suitcase on a flight, you can find out where it went before the airline knows, right? Why is so, it in Pittsburgh? That's right. Know, yeah. And so, but all of those cool features take tech. And we're going to crack this open. I'm going to show you the tech inside that enables all those great features. Also, yeah. to power all those all that great tech, it requires a battery. And so there's been a little bit of uh, controversy lately. Uh, some of the airlines have started to ban smart suitcases yes. on some flights, especially checking them because they're afraid of the lithium ion batteries inside. And so I thought it would be a good idea to show everybody where those batteries are. Excellent. So in the past, we've done some things with batteries here on the stage, and the problem with batteries is... Well, they can catch fire. Yeah. If the batteries are damaged, uh, they can overheat, they can catch fire if they're punctured, and so you definitely don't want fire on an airplane. Yes. All right, so where do we find the batteries in this guy? Okay, so in the Blue Smart bag right here, uh, the batteries and actually all the electronics, or most electronics, are all right up here at the top. So if we zip, unzip here the inside lining, now normally you would never really do this at home, what you can see, if we can get an over-the-camera shot, is this piece of plastic. And I've already pre-removed to speed things along, a few of the screws. Yeah. Using a little Phillips screwdriver here, I'm going to put it in here. We're going to take move off some of the screws. It's kind of like a cooking show, right, where they pre-bake yep. everything. <laughs> we're going to pull the screws off here, and we're going to remove uh, the, oops, one more left to do. We're going to remove the cover. And with that, if you'll hold that, Jason. Yep we'll get to see some of the tech inside. Now, all right. There we oh, are. There we go. So it's we a can big see, motherboard that's there. right. We can see the circuit boards. We can see the cellular modules. We can see the SIM card for the cellular modules. Um, we can see all the connectors. A lot of the uh, contacts for the weight bear to determine the weight are in the handle here. Uh, and then behind all of this, we can see the power module right here. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to just de uh, detach some of these cables here from the uh, motherboard. Great. Like this. You can see some of the chip makers. When you crack these things open uh, on Tech Republic, lots of different tech that you crack open. A lot of times you make note of who the chip makers are because those are things that we learn and uh, you know there's sometimes things that we know about those chip makers as well as the fact that it has an impact on those companies as well, yeah. right? And, you know, if you watched a little earlier, I was here with iFixit, and they showed us how to replace uh, the battery in an iPhone 6S. Yes. And so that's one of the reasons we take these things apart, because we want to know how they work, but also we want to know how to repair them if they break. And so it's important to see how these things are put together. All right, so here is the module that contains the battery and the circuit board and all the chips. I'm going to use a screwdriver here. I'm going to remove the circuit board so we can get to the battery that's underneath. All right. And this is the part that some of the airlines are concerned about being okay. dangerous. Now, Blue Smart says that their bags conform to all the FAA standards for safety, so okay. they're trying to work with the airlines. Um, and it's not all airlines. It's not something that the government said is a mandatory to ban these bags uh, yet. And there are other manufacturers of smart bags, and they, some of them do have removable batteries okay. that actually come out. And those are the bags that the airlines are sort of allowing through. They just don't like the bags. Some of the airlines, yeah. not all, um, don't are concerned about the batteries that can't be removed. Because the FAA hasn't banned all smart bags No, and they point. haven't. The FAA hasn't done really anything. It's the airlines that are doing this right now Cause, out cause of an abundance of caution. Okay, they don't want to have the risk of That's a battery right. catching on fire in the cargo hold of their plane. Right, and so what we're also going to do is we're going to remove the two little connectors here. Uh, from the uh, power switch that's there. And we can see the circuit board right here. We've got a lot of the, like I said, we've got 
uh, the uh, cellular modem here, we've got the SIM card, we've got some of the other chips are here protected by these little uh, metal cages. Those are to protect from electromagnetic interference, okay. RF interference. Um, on the other side, I'll flip this over real quick. On the other side, there's not much to see. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's just the underside of a circuit board. So kind of like the backside of water. Um, <laughs> all right. So. Disney That's uh, my reference That's there. my Disney well humor. Done. Well all done. right. So we're going to remove these screws here. And if we do that, we'll be able to take the battery pack out. And now, this, uh, this version of the bag actually has a longer lasting battery okay. uh, than the previous version. And it's not just to power the device itself. One of the really cool features about these bags is that you can recharge your cell phone. So, mm. you know how when you go on a trip and you don't have, you know, you run out of juice, you can't find a plug, just plug your uh, smartphone directly into the bag and boom, yes. you've got power again. So yes. it's a really handy feature. It's a big, this, this bag is a big step up from the first generation bag. Uh, I tested the first uh, generation bag, uh, Blue Smart bag for Tech Republic, and I found it was not super useful because it was just Bluetooth. It would alert you if you're getting far away, away from your bag, but typically if you have a carry-on, you're not getting that far away. But this one, like you said, it added the GPS, the cellular technology, um, and the, the ergonomics, the, the layout of the bag is a little more practical. Um, that one took up a lot of space for all of the electronics and, and that. So this bag This one's bigger, right? Is, so you have more space yes. to put stuff into, like the things you want to take with you, your clothes yes. and whatnot. And, but it is still compliant with right. carry-on um, standards on uh, all the U.S. airlines and, and most international ones as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one thing. Okay. Again, if you watched uh, the iFixit segment with me, uh, Chris was very careful in removing the battery. And I'm going to do the same thing. I don't want to damage this lithium ion battery. So, ooh, all right. That's so where the problems too much. happen, right? That's right. It's right here. It's this battery pack. Um, it's made up of several different lithium ion cells in here all put together. And so you don't want to puncture this, bend this. And, you know, I don't know about you, but airlines don't seem to be the uh, most delicate with your <laughs> luggage, right? Not so at all. They tend to throw it around. And so Not at all. Even though this is protected by pretty strong plastic, and again, meets FAA standards, um, they're just worried a little bit about this could get damaged, this could get punctured, this could get bent, and that could cause uh, problems, right? Could start a fire. So we definitely don't yes. want that. Okay. But that's the smart technology inside these smart bags. So um, it definitely, I, I hope it shows people kind of the tech that it actually takes to make these de devices smart. Very good. So this is a fairly small set of uh, wires, uh, motherboard, battery um, that, that are in this bag. How much does this bag cost? And how I, much does that yeah. add on? It, I, I believe we're talking four to $500 yeah, typically a, for a bag It's about four like to $500 on a bag like this. But then again, what would you spend for a really good quality regular bag, right? You'd probably two, spend maybe two or $300, okay. $100. So having a bag that's about four or five, maybe $100 extra or so, $150 extra. If you're a frequent traveler, you like all those features, that's pretty cool, especially for business travels like you and I. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to, in, in addition to being a nice, high-quality bag, it's going to, uh, you know, if we recap, it's going to uh, let you charge your phone from it it's, with the battery. It's going to let you track it in GPS uh, and uh, cellular. And then uh, it's going to also alert you if, you get, if it gets too far away Too far away, away if somebody you think's walking off with your bag. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Now, you know, it's not just bags that all this smart stuff goes yes. into. It's toasters, it's ovens, it's refrigerators. You know, CNET shows all this stuff off at the smart home. Um, and we've got another really kind of cool little device that you may not think that a lot of smart technology would go into, a coffee mug. Excellent, let's see it. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of time left in the segment and yeah. we've got a, um, this is an Ember a ceramic coffee mug. Now Ember came out of, a couple years ago, they showed it off kind of at last CES with a travel mug. Uh, just late last year, they came out with a ceramic version of that for people that don't want a travel mug all the time. And this is really cool. It keeps your coffee warm. There's a smartphone app that goes along with it um, that determines uh, the temperature, lets you set the perfect temperature. It keeps yeah. coffee warm for about an hour. Okay. Uh, it'll let you... Um, Set it for different people, for different users if you want that. I really like this. Okay. You know, hot coffee tastes a little better. You can now, see the, the coils on the bottom, you, uh, our, our viewers can. That's right. So, so how does that all work? And yeah. is it going to communicate with your smartphone? It's going to have power. Well, it's got similar kind of technology <laughs> in the plastic base. Okay. And I'm going to show you why Blue Smart says, don't put this in a microwave. Don't push it, 
put this in the dishwasher, right? Th this. They're, they're blue this. Oh, oh, or that, I'm sorry, that, uh, Ember says, Ember don't put says, this in the okay. microwave. Don't put this in the dishwasher. Um, we're all, gonna cut, all hand washing. All hand washing. So um, we're going to cut this open as quickly as I can without trying to hit the battery. All right. So this is going to require um, a Dremel here and uh, some safety goggles. We've got some safety Thank goggles you. here for Jason. Um, if you, uh, we're going to throw these on real quick. If you hit the battery, keep in mind, if yeah. he hits the battery, yeah, it will start gonna, smoking. It will or smoke it could a little start bit. Smoking. So yeah. we're going to try to avoid that. I've cracked one of these open before. Uh, you'll, you'll actually be able to see this in the upcoming uh, issue of CNET Magazine. And uh, I know where the battery is. So we're right. going to do our best not to do that. And I should mention, you know, Bill's been doing this for a long time, since uh, 2006. And so uh, I like to say that, you know, Bill has the patience of a saint in the hands of a surgeon to, to do these kinds of things. Um, we've had other people do some cracking opens for Tech Republic uh, at different times. And when we did, uh, it didn't go well. Usually we ca it came back in a pile of parts. So this one uh, gives us uh, an opportunity to show you um, the deafness that uh, you know, Bill has in, in doing these things. This is the most challenging part um, when we have to crack something open, when we actually have to cut it open um, with uh, something like a Dremel. Uh, I'm going to put my glasses back on because there's some stuff flying around, as you can see. So um, if you're doing these at home, one of the reasons that we do them on Tech Republic is so that you can get a guide to what to do if you want to you know, open up some technology that you have, if you want to repair something like your, um, your suitcase, or you want to uh, either experiment with opening something up that you've got, uh, or repair a product that you have that, that has malfunctioned. So you can find lots of cracking open uh, galleries and articles that Bill has done on Tech Republic. Uh, you can also find cracking open videos uh, that we do on, on CNET uh, of many of the same products. So again, right, Bill, we crack it open so that you don't have to, or that if you so that if you are, uh, you've got a guide yep. for what to do. So we're getting through this a little bit. Okay. You can see the crack in here. What the problem is with the battery? I go slow because I know that the lithium ion battery is right behind this. Okay. The smoke that's coming out isn't from the battery, it's just from the plastic that's kind of <laughs> melting here. Yeah. And it does take a little bit of time. I don't know whether we'll get through the whole thing during the segment. We're going to give it the old college try. Okay. So we've cracked open all kinds of things over here. We've cracked open uh, every iPhone, uh, all the big uh, Android phones uh, in many cases. We've cracked open Xboxes, uh, robots, all kinds of things. So. Uh, again, you can find those. Some of them we do for uh, a little bit of entertainment, but mostly we're also trying to learn about the technology um, every time we do one of these cracking opens. So uh, you can also find some of Bill's cracking opens in CNET Magazine, where we'll take the photos and lay them out and tell the story uh, of cracking these open as well. I'm going to take my glasses off since I'm a little further away now. Um, but you see things flying off of there. And so, you know, this can be a little bit of a dangerous uh, gig with that. You can see Bill, Bill taking all the safety precautions um, that he does. All right, we're almost through uh -oh. this here real quick. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. I'm rushing. Okay. But with safety in mind, you know, we yes. always want to be careful. Now, obviously, you know, one of the things we've always done, Jason, is you and I have always taken things apart uh, because we, do, we don't believe in wasting these things. We try not to damage them too yep. much but we've always tried to put them back together again. Um, sometimes you just can't do this. Obviously, yeah. you know, if you were here on the stage a couple years ago, you saw me take off, take apart the BB-8. Yep. And there's just no way to put this back together again. It's kind of like Humpty Dumpty, right? Once we use the Dremel, that's not going back together. But, no. you know, every iPhone that you've taken apart has gone back together and we've used it for, uh, for app testing and product testing afterwards. Um, you've taken apart a lot of laptops, tablets, uh, many other technologies, and I can count when it when you didn't have to take out the Dremel. You know, I can count on one hand the number of things that didn't go back together. Right. Um, because we are trying to learn from the technology, and then and not just destroy it. Not just destroy All it. Right. Let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, we can here. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. We just got a few minutes left, and I was able to cut through it all. All right, here we go. There we are. So it's going to crack here. Normally, I'd be a little bit more delicate. 
with this, but I'm gonna show you the battery inside of it. See this big protective case right there? This is the battery that actually okay. powers all the smarts inside. And so you don't want to put this, obviously, in your microwave. It's filled with metal and yeah. circuit boards. If you were to heat that up in the microwave, that's a bad idea. Same thing with water. You don't want to get water inside of this uh, in the wash dishwasher. So all hand washing only. Yes. So where's the motherboard in that? Is that in the piece it's right above? It's actually, no, it's actually right underneath the battery here. Is There's it? a okay. circular uh, circuit board found underneath the battery. There's interesting, these cables right here, they connect to temperature sensors okay. inside the mug. And there's also a heating element under here because obviously you would have to keep the liquid warm, right? Your coffee, your tea, whatever it is you have. And so there's a heating element under there. There's a little bit of um, uh, insulation as well. And if you kind of want to see everything that's in here, uh, definitely check out uh, next month's uh, issue or, or the next issue of CNET Magazine. There's a full photo spread of me taking this apart in there. Nice. So how much does this cost, Bill? Uh, so the, this mug is about 80 bucks. Now, you say, that's a lot for a coffee mug, but, you know, I'll tell you what, I like my coffee. I drink it every day. You I like it to hot? be hot. You want to keep it hot? $80 is just fine for me. Yeah. What else does it do? Are there sensors? What does it tell, does it tell you? Does it know, you know, what your preference is to drink it, it at? It does. You set the, pr you set the temperature. Uh, it'll keep the liquid at that temperature. It'll also detect whether or not there's liquid in it or not. So the mug is always on, but it's only going to heat when you've got liquid in it. Very good. All right. Thanks so much, Bill. Interesting to see what's inside the smart suitcase and the smart mug. Okay, we've got to take a break. Next, we've got Brian Tong and the TV team to talk about the best TVs of CES 2018. Stay with us.